it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be back on Oregon Springs. Either my headset is set really loud, or else the game volume is turned up. Nope. Okay, so, <clears throat> as you can see here, uh, we've got the Harvest Crew finished up, ready to roll out. Uh, I brought the K30 and fuel trailer um, over here to the next field. Pretty sure this is the only entrance. Nope. Okay. Uh, I brought the K30 here. Uh, I fill, filled the fuel trailer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hop into these guys. And we will get them going. Um, the... I didn't quite fill the truck fully, but on the way by there, uh, I will be emptying it just because it's like 90 something percent full, 95. So to take it to the field, really? So to take it to the field would pretty much be pointless <clears throat> because I dump you know, a couple hundred liters in it, and then away we go. So, no point in doing that. Uh, let's see here. We need this like that. No, like that. That. And reverse. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move to field 11 here. Yeah, it finally quit snowing today, and we got uh, the driveway cleaned off, and got my pickup in the driveway, because uh, it was sitting on the street before, and the first time that the payloader came through and cleaned snow, uh, it had to go around it, and I wasn't able to get it in the driveway at that time, uh, so then I made sure today that I got it in the driveway. Uh, I actually, the great, there was a grader running today too, <coughs> excuse me. There was a grader running today, too, uh, along with the payloader. And I see they're a couple blocks away from here right now working. Or just on the other side, I guess. Other side of houses. And uh, so I, they were just at the end of the street earlier. And I was like, okay, i got to hurry up and get this at least an area cleaned off for my pickup so we can get that in there. And, and then we got it in and got it going so whenever they decide to come over this way um, my pickup is out of the way okay we're gonna stop that guy we're gonna get this guy going my headset is set quite loud okay Get him unfolded and set up. Let's see, I think the other one had reverse. Oops, I pressed some button that did something. I don't know what. Yes, this guy has reverse. Okay, um, let him get ahead just a little bit farther and then we'll start this one. Get the green cart. No point. I did also order a new headset. Uh, I got a wireless one, uh, just because this wired one is so annoying. I got, I got enough cords here, without adding that in. You know, this headset into the mix. I've got one cord running from my uh, fan pad to my computer, 
one running from the uh, kind of extension cord for USB ports running to my computer. I got one for my headset. I've got three cords running into the uh, USB extension cord. Uh, one for the wheel, one for the side panel, I believe, something like that. Um, and then one from my joystick. And then I've got I've got a wireless mouse, so that's helpful. <coughs> Yeah, one less wire would definitely be nice. And it was on sale, so you can't go wrong with sale items. Okay, then we will just pull this guy off and set him there. We'll go ahead and grab the truck. My mouthpiece is quite close to my mouth. Or my microphone, I guess. So our harvesters are filling up quite fast. I'm actually surprised. That is one nice thing. I said it yesterday as well. Um, that is one nice thing about not having soil mud is, you know, your nutrients in your soil just are the same. So if you fertilize your fields, you get your fertilized yield of your crop. And if you don't, you get your non-fertilized yield of your crop, so it's kind of, you know, whatever you do, you got one thing going. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hop in this guy, and we'll get that, get the harvesters unloaded. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this map so far. Very nice, well done map. We'll race up here to the front one, since that is the one that has a lot more potatoes in it than the back one. <clears throat> I think I am going to change a few crop textures, uh, like the wheat and the corn textures. Uh, but other than that, really not much I want to change on this map. Might change the gravel texture to my gravel texture, but... Otherwise, it's very well done, and I really like the way it looks. Okay, there's that one. So now we'll go up here and fill up from this one. Alright, so we'll run over here to where the truck will be. Once we uh, remove it from the storage area. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the truck now. Whoops. Still in reverse. Now getting in and out of this area will be a lot easier. And I'm not trying to make a wide turn out of there.
Alrighty, so let's get this thing tipping up. Again, as, same as yesterday, I know this is not at all realistic in the way that I'm doing this, but um, the way that the issues that this trailer has, that's kind of a necessity. Yeah, and it's going to cause issues again. Okay, let's try it on this side then. Now, sometimes it likes one side and not the other, and likes one area and not the other. Kind of dumb in the way that it works, but whatever, I guess. Alrighty. So now we just kind of keep running after these guys. Probably gonna want to wait until he's turned around. I will go unload this one, I guess. I'm about the same fill level now, anyways, so. See, I did recently buy Giant Machines 2017, so I think I'm going to start uh, a series on that as well. Uh, that is a very, very fun game. I've been playing a lot of it lately. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I did get Microsoft Flight Simulator as well, but that's not as good of a game as I thought it was going to be, which I'm glad it was only a few bucks. It was on sale for like half off or something like that and um, yeah so I'm glad it was on sale for cheap because it's not at all what I thought it was um, I thought it would be a whole lot better than what it is but it's not but uh, it is still fun it's just I think it's an old game you know, the graphics are pretty horrible and but it's still a pretty cool game. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, I'm also thinking, I've been hearing this, seeing stuff and hearing about this new game. Um, something about, oh, like My Summer Car or something like that. And uh, I think uh, Ian Robson maybe uh, was playing on it or I know Caravera 76 was but uh, yeah it definitely looked like an interesting game so I might have to check that out but uh, yeah so I hope everybody's enjoying the K30 I know I sure am <clears throat> definitely it was a lot of uh a lot of fun to do is different because you know, I've never taken a model out of SketchUp and you know done the work to it that they need. Um, really, I've only dealt with SketchUp models like a couple of times uh, for stuff other than buildings. Buildings I've done quite a lot, and that was just a quick convert over as well there. But uh, I've never done you know vehicles or anything like that, and I've never you know done all the work that needs to be done on a SketchUp model to make it look good in game. So it was definitely an experience to do that. Uh, it was fun and definitely a learning process as well. Learned a lot of things that I never knew. Um, a lot of 
features that Blender has that I never knew about. So, it's definitely kind of cool. But, yeah. And then, uh... <clears throat> it was definitely neat. SketchUp models still aren't the greatest. Uh, I probably should have done a lot more work to this truck. Uh, you know, closed all the open spots and, you know, remodeled some stuff. But, you know, it was kind of a quick project. I wasn't too terribly worried about it. So, now... Uh, but yeah, it's still pretty awesome. It just has its gaps in it and parts you can see through yet, but <clears throat> not a huge deal. Let's get this thing filled up. We'll unload the rear harvester and then I guess we'll go ahead and dump this. And then we'll have to dump the truck as well. Yeah, let's go like this. There we go. And we can close that. There we go. We're 100% now. <coughs> Excuse me. I had something in my throat. Okay, so our truck is full, and our harvesters are pretty much running the same fill level. It's kind of funny. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get out of here. So, let's see how much do we have. 417,000 liters of potatoes already. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ooh. That caused some damage on stuff. So we'll have to pay to repair that. But Boy, I didn't think I was turning that sharp. Guess I was, though. Now our harvesters are way different because of turning. careful around those turns there and the tipping the truck over or doing exactly what I just did again Let's go ahead and hop back in this guy, and we'll start unloading harvesters. And we should be just about half a million liters of potatoes or so. Yep, 
500,036 liters. Wow. 36 liters less and we'd be right on half a million. That's fun. Oh. Quite a coincidence there. So we'll go unload what we can out of this harvester. But he's probably going to end up sitting full. So I don't think we'll be able to get back to it before. Alright, there we're full. Yeah, so we really didn't empty that trailer or that harvester much. Okay, now we'll go ahead and grab the truck again. It's definitely a lot of running around with just myself, and it'd be a lot worse if uh, I didn't have auto combine. I could technically set these guys up for course play, but <clears throat> but uh, setting up more than one tool on course play is kind of a headache because you got to get your offsets just right and all of that annoying crap so a bunch of stuff that if I don't have to deal with it I won't <laughs> I'd much rather not Again, I know the little realism in doing this, but <clears throat> you can only do so much. I think after this video, I might take a look at uh, working on this trailer. So we'll go ahead and we'll unload this front one since he's right here. And then we'll go ahead and... Uh, Oh no, emptied the other guy. So basically we'll fill the... <clears throat> fill the oxbow here from that other harvester. There he is. <laughs> I like the uh, dust particles from this trailer. They're kind of nice. The dirt on the wheels on the tractor almost make it look like the wheels are just sitting there wobbling. It's kind of, kind of annoying. These harvesters sure don't hesitate in unloading. They're pretty speedy about unloading. Okay, and we'll go top off from the other harvester. Ah, we'll just dump it, I guess. The other one doesn't have a whole lot in it. So we'll just dump this load here and then, uh... <clears throat> oh, sorry. Um... 
uh, and then we'll we'll let the uh, harvesters fill up a little bit. Totally lost my train of thought there for a moment. That puts our truck at 78% more or less. So we'll just come over here and we'll wait until the front harvester gets over on this uh, section. And then we'll go ahead and unload it. So while we wait, I will show you guys a couple of things here. Um, show you guys the two two mods that uh, are pretty much done. So here we have the Chandler 24 RDT tender trailer. <clears throat> All that I have left is to make the dynamic fill planes and then script and in-game it. Uh, this is a model from Polygonish. As you can see we got all of the textures here. I used all of the same textures that uh, were on it before. All I did was uh, separated everything so that everything only had one material so that it would work with dirt uh, and then here we have the circle j trailer that i bought from turbo squid <clears throat> nothing special just a little trailer <clears throat> and then uh, so we're still doing good there uh, i did buy the two brent uh, grain carts as well from polygonish uh, they looked like they look like really really nice models so i got them both uh both the tracked and the wheeled versions so here is the equalizer track version uh, i've actually i actually saw a video on these uh i'll talk about that here in a sec and then here is the wheeled version um, when I do these, I'm going to make so that there's two versions of each. You can have this red or the green of the other one, you know, for either the wheeled or tracked. Um, uh-oh. That's not good. Let's see how much time do we have left? Is it worth? Ah, uh, it's not worth me restarting the game right now. Um, so I'll just finish talking about that. We'll get these things unloaded. Uh, bear with me. I don't know. I don't know why, but like if I tab out of the game for so long, then my game starts to lag. I don't know. I'm sure I've probably got some kind of mod conflict somewhere. As I said a couple of other times, going through my mods and fixing all the errors is one thing that I've wanted to do for a while. Uh, but it is going to require a lot of work because you know there's lots of mods that have lots of errors you know like maps if they have texture errors you know like you're you have something that's not a DDS then you gotta sit you gotta go find it and then you gotta change it to DDS and rezip everything and, and just big annoying process there and then you know mods there's a lot of them so you know if each one had like two errors i'd have maybe like 200 errors to fix 200 texture files and that kind of stuff and i do need to narrow down my mods again i still have a whole bunch of mods that are garbage that i don't want anymore i don't use that kind of thing 
But anyway, back to uh, talking about that equalizer track thing. Uh, I saw a video on it that uh, Brent or Unverfirth or whatever, some company posted. And uh, it looks really cool. Like your tracks, they'll, you know, go like this. And, you know, they'll each one rotates side to side and, you know, up and down according to the terrain. And each one's individual. So if, you know, you have one side of your green cards going up the hill and the other's going down the hill, then your tracks will, um, you know, they'll go with that flow. And uh, it's definitely pretty cool. It'd be cool to figure out how to do that in game as well. So then, you know, if you're on like a terrace or something, you know, something like that, then you can your tracks will adjust and whatever but so a little bit shorter video by like a minute or two but uh because of this lag kind of no point in restarting with the timer only had like a minute 40 so that'll do it for this video guys whoa if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel make sure to subscribe if you like what you see uh make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time i upload a new video <clears throat> Don't forget to check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, my mod sites, as well as other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you.